Hi everybody, this is a teardown of the top screen for the new 2DS XL and this is a uh, word of warning it will definitely damage the top screen the top screen is very delicate and it's not a one part component when you disassemble it, it, it will pretty much mess with your screen like what I have right here so I'm just gonna show you anyways so you can see uh, how to take it apart let's power it off okay it's off alright okay so I took the back away already this is the back here got the battery uh, the um, card reader, game cartridge reader, joystick. All right, to take off the top screen, what you need to do is we will need to peel this black layer out. So uh, I've done it already. You just need a yeah, just dig dig in the corner and just peel it nice and slow. And slowly pull it across. You can use the hairdryer if it's really hard. Get yourself a hairdryer, not really hot. And heat it up to make it a bit easier. But mine's, uh, mine's okay. So the top, the top layer comes off. It's got little um, connecting points on the top there, and there's four screws. And you're going to see how the screen actually comes together. It's not a one part unit, it's made out of multiple layers. Okay, so the screws out. After that, what we need to do is uh, grab a little screwdriver, stick in here, and get your fingernail into this point here and run your fingernail across can hear the snap opens when you reach the right point just go all the way around and um, just snap it all out except for the back bit for the back bit we need to slide it down to get it out it's stuck here so we'll just yep. um, just at the back point here there are sliding clips you need to slide it back to take it out Alright, this is the screen, the cables are there, the screen uh, numbers are there, there's a range of numbers, and to pop the screen out, you want to do it on this side here, uh, you try, if you try to pull on this side, it's going to break up into multiple layers, So, but if you take this part here, you can dig it all the way down and you can see that there's actually multiple layers to get all the way down you dig all the way down there if you dig on the left side it splits up into multiple layers but the problem is 
it needs to there's a liquid on top it needs to be distributed evenly across the the screen to get the picture to look nice but um yeah it's some sort of strange screen um i'll just power it on for you to see you can power it on as well i'm not sure what kind of screen it is but it's now that's multiple unit ma uh, machine and you look really closely it's there's a um, moisture on there all right let's just power it on so this is actually a back screen our uh, back light and then on the inside here it just looks like a uh, sort of black but when you connect them together it shows black but then if you press them together they slowly the picture becomes available And slowly the picture shows up. And I'm trying to get the front um, front layer off, but it's uh, very um, heavily heavily glued down as well, so that was difficult. But there you go. That's that's the top screen. It's um, it's quite tricky to replace. I definitely not don't recommend for you to take it open to see it. You can learn. Hope you hope you can learn from my video. It's all good. I don't mind. It doesn't cost me too much for the unit. And on the back, you can see that it's, uh, it's lit up. That's the back screen, nice and bright. And there's a if you split up on the left side here. You can see multiple layers of polarizing screens but yeah the tricky part is there's a coat of liquid between the layers and you need to distribute it nice and evenly to see the the screen properly But what's cool is um yeah all the units you can just turn on the units one piece in one piece you don't have to take it all out you can still power on off in when you take the bottom bit off all right there you go um and that's it turn off there you go hope you enjoyed the video see you later